Collector Sleuth here, and today I have a variety of Nightmare Before Christmas items. Um, I'm going to start with this uh, mare here. This is the uh, the very rare Disney Store exclusive number 40 mare uh, pop figure. Uh, here we go. I finally broke down and bought him. Um, he is uh, very expensive on the secondary market. And I now you see he does not have a box. I actually purchased him loose um, and got him much, much cheaper that way. Uh, the box adds a lot of value. So anyway, um, so I did pick him up. So he's not perfect. He's got, you know, some little scuffings on him. Um, he's, like I said, not in the box and uh, didn't even come with the box at all. So, but here he is. And you can kind of see like the the evolution of these things. Like here, I brought in a um, <clears throat> this year mare and 2020 mare here pop figure. Um, you can kind of see the difference in like skin tone. Like this one's more of a got a pink cast to it, orangey pink. And this one's more flush toned. Um, even the eyes look different. Uh, the smiles you can see the difference there. The mare ribbons, this one's more red, this one's orange. This spider is a lot cleaner than the spider here. Can't hardly really see it, it's kind of dark. And so, overall, and he's got the striping on his pants as well, whereas this one does not. Um, you can kind of see, uh, quality-wise, that this one is a lot nicer. And so, Funko has uh, kind of um, stepped up their game as far as... I've got a little scuff right there. Uh, as far as the quality of their products, they're still made out of you know uh, cheap cheap plastic, and they're still you know uh, eight to nine dollars a piece uh, for a Funko Pop. So um, <clears throat> upwards of fifteen dollars uh, original retail for a single pop like this. And so, but they, I think that personally, I think they've gotten a little bit nicer. Anyway, this is the um, the very rare, um, very sought after mare on this side. So I, like I said, I did get him, uh, picked him up off eBay a little cheaper without the box. And since I display my pops out of the box anyway, uh, it wasn't a big deal for me to uh, purchase him that way. So anyway, there's that. And the next items I'm going to show are some Domezes. Domez. So here, I picked these up from Walmart recently. Uh, this one says Chase variant on it. I got this from Walmart, like I said. They were kind of just thrown in the toy aisle. We actually, we actually were looking for something else, not these. I didn't even know they carried these at Walmart. Um, I didn't see any other ones. I couldn't find, because they were, like I said, just thrown in one of the uh, shelves in an aisle. I don't think that that's where they originally were supposed to be. And then I looked around and couldn't find where these would have originally hung. So I didn't see any other ones. But I did pick these two up. It's very cute. I'm just going to leave them in the box and probably just display them like this. And this one looks like he's got a jack-o'-lantern on the back of his uh, dome. Kind of see it back there. Whereas he does not. And the only difference I'm seeing is one has a, sto well, gold base, but one has a stocking and one has a list in his hands. And this one actually says Jack Sandy Claus on it. And this one only says Sandy Claus. So they didn't put, you know, Jack on, on there. So there's those. And then the next thing I have is this Hallmark ornament. The only place I could find this was on Box Lunch. I ordered this off of Box Lunch. I could not find this. Um, of course, it got a little damage to the box uh, in shipping. I could not find this. At like uh, Usually you can find these types of um, cheaper resin Hallmark ornaments from either Hallmark or um, Walgreens, CVS, Walmart. All those places usually carry um, the red, what we call the red box Hallmark ornaments. Though this year, the uh, 
Hallmark ornaments that are keepsake ornaments are actually in red boxes, a solid red box now this year. So, which I don't like. I wish they they, they would not have done that box style. I'm not I'm not liking the new Hallmark keepsake box style. But anyway, back to this ornament. Um, this is Hallmark brand, and so um, not in a red box though. This is a uh, different coloring here. It's got the the green for this year. The theme of boxes for Nightmare this year is this green color, and uh, I kind of like that because it kind of lets you know. Uh, what year the item's from. Of course, uh, remembering it is another thing, but. So, I'm gonna take him out because I am going to put this on my tree. So, anyway, it's pretty much just a flat ornament of uh, the glittery moon. I actually not a big glitter fan. I would have been rather just them colored it like a single color and not added the glitter. Um, and there's his doghouse, and here's Zero. He's a very shiny, um, it's like a satin or a high gloss, sorry, high gloss finish on there. So very cute. Like I said, I did pick this up from boxlunch.com. Um, that's where I got that, so let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so these are uh, Rock Love brand. I first saw these on Disney Store. I don't see them on there anymore. Um, this is late December 2020. Um, I purchased these off eBay. Somebody had all three of them together. And I thought they had a pretty good price on them, even though I usually don't buy jewelry. But they had a, um, a reasonable enough price on them that I, uh, on all three that I went ahead and purchased these. But they come in these really nice black boxes. And there's a different Rock Love um, brand Nightmare of Christmas jewelry. This is Lock, Shock, and Barrel, but they do have others, other pieces. And these are sterling silver. And see, yeah, even the inside of the box is really nice. Uh, we got this really pretty, like, um, neon green uh, color. And you got uh, embossed jack back here in the silver. And then um, you got his face down there. And then here's the, the uh, necklace. And his mask is on a hinge. You can actually open this. Let's see. Um... I can get it open. There we go. Opens from the bottom. Okay. And then on the inside, you can see Beryl's face. So very, very nice. And then on the inside, and here's just, just a simple um, sterling silver chain here. Some little uh, balls on it. And then on the inside, there's a little bag that you can keep it in. It has the rock love on there, and um, it says the Nightmare Before Christmas. It's hard to read, but that's what that says. And so I'm just going to actually, when I go to display these in a cabinet, I'm just going to display them like this, inside the box like that, because the box is actually really nice. So there's that one. There's Barrel. Let's see. Let's do the next one. Who's this one? This one is Shock. And they've got her bag up here. I'm going to move it because I like that embossed jack back there. He looks really nice. And the front of the bag says A Nightmare Before Christmas as well. And this is velvety material. So I'm just going to tuck that in there. But here is Shock. A lot of glare here, so I apologize for that. Let's see if we can't uh, open her mask up. And you can see the hinge here on the side of her face. Okay. These are really delicate here, very small. Here we got it. And then the also, oh, now hers is a little less loose than the barrel one was. But here's her uh, sterling silver face. Or at least silver colored. I'm not. 
The chain is sterling silver. All right, so there's that one. And then here's the third one. Uh, lock here. And I, I don't wear this jewelry, um, any nightmare jewelry. I don't wear jewelry in general hardly, but um, I don't wear themed jewelry like that. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is just displaying these in a cabinet rather than actually wearing them. Um, I do have like a bracelet from the Bradford Exchange that I got also from eBay for a lot cheaper than, than what it would have been on the actual website. And it's really nice too. So here's the inside of lock. It's awfully glare. There's a lot of glare in the camera here. It's actually not quite as, yeah, it's a little e easier to see in person, but uh, these are really nice. Very pretty. Okay, so there are those. And then I also picked up from Box Lunch. These, this two pack of Jack and Sally candlestick holders. Once again, that green. get off for whatever reason. Oh, there's a middle one, so okay, that's what it was. Alrighty. So these aren't quite as big as I thought they were going to be. I mean, they're not super small either, but um, I was expecting them to be a little bit bigger. And we got Jack here. And then you can just put a taper candle on top. And here's Sally. There it goes. There's what the back looks like. The next thing I have is also from Box Lunch. I picked, uh, purchased from Box Lunch. Is this picture frame? And you can see there's a picture of Jack inside. You can put whatever, probably whatever picture you want in there. Inside the scary wreath frame. And then on the back, um, you can see that they're starting to kind of be like uh, Bradford Exchange where they do like concept art and they embellish um, the ads uh, versus what you actually get. If you look at this wreath, it looks just like the one that's made out of um, like that felt material. Um, actually, I think I can grab it real quick. It looks like a It looks like this wreath. You can see like the teeth here and like this felt material with the buttons on it. Um, a different bow. And if you look at this one, it looks like, like that same thing. It's got the buttons on it and the, um, looks like the eyes are glued on and the, the teeth there that's that yellowy color. Um, the bow is different though. So it looks, it looks like, uh, they just, yeah, 
photoshopped like a picture of Jack inside this already existing wreath and cut off the the, the tails on it uh, to make it look like this because this one obviously white tea solid white um, they're not even sharp in some places and uh, the red bow does not look like the red bow on the back so this is uh, kind of not an accurate representation of what of the actual product so let me grab that one and um, Bradford Exchange does that all the time like all their ads almost all of them are like look like an actual like drawing um, versus the actual product you, you, you get so So let's look at this wreath. Yeah, see, this is definitely um, a resin. It's not that felt material. It even looks like it, it would be felt on the back of the package there. It's still nice, though. I mean, it's it's nice. I just thought they didn't... Um, they obviously did a... Uh, threw together a, a picture together versus actually taking a picture of the actual item. So here it's a MC Burger. Oh, it even has a hanger. You can hang it this way or you can... So that's kind of nice. Uh, the picture doesn't quite fit in there. You can see the cardboard back there. But then again, this is supposed to be a placeholder. You should be able to put whatever picture you want. I'm just going to leave it because um, I just buy this for display purposes, not to actually put pictures of, of me or my family or whatever in them. Though I have done that. I do have some nightmare photo uh, picture frames where I've done that. They didn't come with pictures. But this one does, so I'm just going to leave it in there. Anyway, uh, sitting down here, it kind of does look like it leans this way just a little. That's all right. And these teeth do not, do not look sharp. I don't know if that's a factory thing on mine, like they had chipped off and they just painted over them. Um, right here and kind of just rounded them out a little bit and then painted over them. Or if that's uh, all of them are like this, I'm not sure. But it's a really cool looking... Uh, And they did make this flat on the bottom, for the most part. This, ooh, what the? Whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> it's falling apart. What did they do? It's like this piece of plastic right here. What is that about? See it? It's like a. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! It's falling. No, leave it. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what that is. It's wanting to pull off. I think it, it's just on the bottom, maybe. No, it goes around. It's like this liner on here. I'm just going to see if I can't gently pull that off and then not do anything else because it's going to it's gonna ruin it. All right. Huh. Some piece of plastic. What the? Okay. Uh... I can't say I've seen anything like that. It's like a piece of plastic got stuck on the item and then got painted over. I wonder that just peeled right off. That is really weird. Okay, so I, I did lose a little bit of paint on the bottom here. Not that's a big deal. It's on the bottom. Can't see it. So, um... This were like an expensive collectible that that would probably bother me, but this being just a picture frame, I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, it's kind of annoying, but and I'm not sure. I don't think this was supposed to be there. I think that I think that's a factory thing. I think that got stuck in there and they just painted over and that was that. Hmm. All right. Well, there's that. Moving on paint on my fingers now yeah you never know sometimes what you get with some of this cheaper um, quality items um, even expensive quality items uh, you gotta watch certain things because I know on even on Jim Shore pieces that are very expensive and I would care because of the amount those are um, they will like paint over the factory will paint over chips they'll make repairs I've seen it I bought items brand new, or almost bought items brand new, where 
um, things have been glued back on. I'm like this, like usually you can tell because they use clear epoxy. They don't use like super glue, they use epoxy. And so um, I was like, whoa, this thing's been repaired and I'm not, you know, paying that kind of money for something that's been repaired. So uh, yeah, you gotta watch certain, certain things. You definitely wanna inspect your items when you first get them to make sure that they're gonna pass, pass inspection, so. Even if you don't plan on displaying it right away, you definitely want to look at look at it as soon as it comes in. So here is this is um, also an item I got from Box Lunch. This is a really cool clock. This is a Town Hall Table Clock and Bank. So it's a bank as well. So I want to see what this looks like because this I thought looked pretty neat on um, online. So. Oh yeah, that's nice. I do have another table, like a mantle clock, that I got from the Disney store. Now this one's not near the quality that that one is, but it also not near the price either. So, um, I'll show that probably in a, um, a video, a video sometime. I do have it in one of my cabinets. I could probably at least show it through the glass because um, it is really cool. Now our Christmas table clock is really cool. Anyway, here is this one, and it's also a bank. So there's the, yeah, the bank slots right there. This is made of resin. Feels to be made of resin, so. Got Jack here, sitting here on the, um, the edge of a pillars here, whatever you want to call those. And then the mayor's over here. Um, the sculpting work on the mayor actually is not that good. I'm kind of surprised because the mayor they usually do a good job with. Um, for some reason, he's usually a lot easier than some of the other characters. But this this mayor, I gotta say, he his face doesn't look that good. Um, we also didn't write anything on his ribbon. Uh, been pretty small, but uh, I'm surprised he just didn't at least like make some squiggles or something, make it look like there was writing on it. This is also looks to be screen printed on, and so this is um, pretty pretty cheap quality um looks all right though i mean from a from a distance it looks pretty nice but yeah if you've seen that um the disney store table clock yeah this doesn't compare to that so um it, the disney store one's way 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 nicer so here's the bottom um where you can get the money out and this is supposed to be a working clock so i wonder if you just pull it out of there let me back this up a little bit I think you just pull this out. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, it comes out. Let me get that out of there. There, I got it. Okay. So here it is. It just pulls out. Um, it's got these little clips that hold it in there. And then you can just put your battery in here. Seems to push. Man, they got that on there tight. I'm trying to open it without breaking it. There it came. Okay. Okay, let's see. It goes in this way. Man, that is tight. Let's go this way with it. There we go. Yep, there it goes. And it, uh, um, the face of it is obviously the Halloween clock that actually is on the town hall. So pretty cool. Oh, don't drop it. Okay. And then you can just put that back in there and let it run. I, like I said, I don't leave batteries in my items, so I'm going to take that out before I forget about it. And then you're going to snap that back on. Put that 
back in there. And it just goes back in like so. If it's in there nice and snug, which is good. I'm afraid over time, if you change too much, it's going to get loose. Um, but right now, it does fit in pretty nicely. So there's that. And let's see what the original retail of that was. I, like I said, I, from Hot Topic and Box Lunch, they always have flash sales, so I never pay full price for their things. Um, I think I bought this. Yeah, I would have bought this maybe 30% off. Anyway, the original retail was $49.90. So there's that. And the last thing I was going to show you is this um, silk throw. I got this uh, from Hot Topic. So let's open him up. Yes, this feel me on it. Yeah. All right, well, it is soft. It's really soft. It's really soft. So here's Jack. Santa Jack here. It's got some uh, Christmas lights on there. Yeah, this thing is really, really soft. So I got some of the. Plastic on there. very 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 nice very nice uh, throw a blanket if you just want to something to cozy with for Christmas and it's almost Christmas so perfect timing for this uh, just cozy up to this thing and uh, do some hot chocolate and be really pretty nice and comfortable so um, here's a picture of it it's hard to see it because I can't get it really laid out uh, good enough but it, it looks like that spread out I'm holding all those Christmas lights and the bats on there. But anyway, that's going to conclude this video, guys. I uh, thank you for watching. And uh, please subscribe and check back for new content.